Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Sacred Garden. Welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. Now on the last episode, we end up going, defeated the Nui, re uh, rescued all the crops and whatnot, and we ended up coming back home, and now it seems like everybody's fed. Tifo wants to go into the village and basically brag about our colors. like, hey, you guys want to know who took out the, you guys want to know who took out the monster? We did it. He, he wants to figure that out. And yeah, I'm saying he now because I ended up finding out that Tifo's actually a boy. So, <laughs> and that was, uh, that was pretty awkward. But, uh, before we get started, I just want to say that because now that I'm back here, I remember what happens next because this is where this is where I stopped playing for a while. What happens next? It, well, you'll you'll see momentarily. Um, let's leave first. We'll leave first. We we'll leave. Go into town. Oh, okay. Guess we're fighting monsters on the way. I still can't believe Tifa's actually a guy. Cause like, if you look at him and listen to how he sounds in battle, like he straight up sounds like a is actually like a girl. So, uh, which way? Let's go this way. Ooh, speak. Speaking of which, I want to see um, what Bunyan's up to. I'm hoping my Bunyan gives me some type of reward for taking out the monster. Level up. Okay. Simoon. New spell. Okay. Let's see what Bunyan's up to. Pipe! Bunyan! Paul Bunyan, you over here? The rate of random encounters is actually pretty high, too. game keeps stuttering like this. There you are. Hey. Hmm. Why? You're not gonna talk to us? Alright, I guess he ain't gonna talk to us. I'm trying to remember what happens cuz Cuz like I said, I, re I remember where I'm going to Cuz it's where I stopped at I think there's something over yeah, there's something over here There's a guy here. Yeah, um, okay, Hold on, how much do I have? I don't have that, I don't have a lot. I should probably buy some healing items first. So, we'll go back to town. But, um, when I get back to him, I'll, I'll explain what he's all about in a moment. Town of McNeil. Uh, that's funny. No one's here. I told everyone that we'd be coming into town today. Really? What? 
I knew you were bragging. I knew it. You're in big trouble now, mister. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Everybody's coming out. Are they gonna beat us down? They got weapons. Oh boy. Uh, the old man in the weapon shop. I think we're in trouble. Hey, every everybody's showing up. That guy right there in the back with the cloak. I have to talk to him. Hey, Tipo, what's going on? Hey, Ray. Is it true what they say? That that you three killed the Nui? Yeah. Well, um, yeah. So what Bunyan was saying is true then? So you mean you risked your lives for us? I mean, more or less. Kind of. I guess you could say that. Well done. Looks like we misjudged you boys. We're sorry. And we're grateful. We certainly are. If we'd known what you were really like before, well then... You won't need to steal anything ever again. We'll give you food whenever you need it. Just ask. Oh, thank you! We get praised just like that. Doesn't that just beat all? What do you think of what do you think of that? We're heroes. I don't know about you, but I feel pretty important. Yeah, see this guy wants to talk to me, but first things first, I wanna You want some weapons? What are you going to go after next? Wait, he came out of the weapon shop! What the heck? Hmm. Bronze sword. Well, I do need the damage. Speed will be lowered a little bit, but... Yeah. It's worth it. Okay. Hold on, dude. I'll talk to you in a minute. I know, I know. Since you helped us out, I'll give you a special rate. Okay. Ooh. Okay. 220 of those. Last party member. Is there anything I could sell to... First, I want to leave the village and I'm gonna go back to that old man now the whole deal with him is that that hmm. it's part of a feature in this game called the master system now what the master system does is that you train under uh, certain characters and they can teach you special moves 
I am the great wizard Migus. 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 As you can see, well, as you can see, well, I'm on a journey. And well, I've used all my money and I can't find any food. I found myself in a bit of a spot here. So that's why I wanted you to make you an offer. In exchange for all of your money, I'll teach you my most powerful magics. In other words, I'll be your master. And you'll be my apprentice. The more you train, the more spares you'll be able to use. What do you say? Yeah. Oh, I can see you're one who's going places. If you become my apprentice, your AP and intelligence will go up faster. Of course, your power and defense won't go up as fast. So who wants to be my apprentice? I'll do it for... for Ray's, cause like, my power and defense like are already like at a decent level anyway, so I'll do this. I hereby recognize Ray's as my apprentice. Uh... Well, actually, Super Tifa. Nice to see you as my princess. Oop. Come back after you've gotten stronger. And if you're ready, I'll teach you some of my spells. I don't know what the prerequisite is for me to be able to, like, learn his moves. I think I have to level up a couple times or something. I don't know. But, um... <clears throat> yeah, I I, uh, I looked up somewhere that yeah you do have to give like all your money, but the thing is that you can basically trick the guy, like you can just give give him as much as one Z, and <laughs> that'll be it. Anything here? Oop. Can I not cut this? Okay, I guess I can't. Okay. Now we go back to McNeil, and I'm gonna talk to that the thief-looking guy, cause he wants me to do something. What he says, like, I have to go and get back the tax money from Mayor McNeil himself. <laughs> you guys are something. I'm really impressed. No, I mean it. I am. Me? My name is Loki. I guess you guys are heroes, eh? Save the village, yeah? Yep, you three are certainly heroes. Yep, yes indeed. <laughs> yeah. Yep, you're really something. I mean, you killed that Nui. Something no one else was able to do. That's why. Seeing as you're so strong, I wanted to ask for your help. The only, the only way we can progress with the story is if we say yes. Oh, you'll help me? I just knew you would. Down the road, there's a farm with a little hut on the roadside. I'll meet you there later, okay? Then we have a deal. Alright, so we go down. So, like, some of these, like, everybody's working hard, getting crops and junk. I can't even go in here anymore. <laughs> Hello. Not bad, not bad. Now you won't have to hide your faces around the village. Yes, yeah, so I can't really do much. Yeah. What's up here? I don't think I did. I come up here before. what we're worth. Even after we've done such a good job fixing his wall. Yeah. So if you guys are new, like new to the game, remember that wall. Okay. 
though. Wait, does that mean we won't get paid until someone does a break until someone does break in then? Huh? I meant if someone breaks in, we don't get paid. This means we'll never get paid at all then, doesn't it? The mayor is saying he'll only pay if he can be sure no thieves can come in through the fixed wall. Hmm. So yeah. There's gotta be something around here, like some kind of special item. the guy wanted us to go into. There's one right down here that we saw when we first came in. Yeah. So, what do you want? Well, I'm sure you've heard the stories, too. You know, the ones about Mr. McNeil. That he's, a ch that he's cheap and greedy. There's lots of people like that. Yes, but don't you think that M McNeil is a little, t well, too greedy? Hmm. So you're saying you want us heroes to steal everything back, is that it? Um, well, if you stole the tax money and gave it back to the villagers, it'll make us even more popular, right? So you'll do it then? Oh, thank you so much. There's no time to waste. You should go tonight. That night. Contipo's practicing his sword swings. It's night, everybody. Let's go, let's go. They just finished repairing the wall, so... It might be hard to find a way in, but I'm sure people as resourceful as you can find a way, right? All right, let's go. Rays, Ray. Okay, there's the manor up ahead. Let's split up and look for a way in. Be careful. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like having second thoughts about this. Hang on real fast. Um Okay, I already sent what to call it back to the notes. Alright, now Where is it? Here we go. What's up? Find something? Hey, isn't that the wall they were working on before? Hmm, I wonder. Ray! <laughs> Are you okay? Hasn't, don't this just beat all? So much for the perfect repair job. This isn't exactly how I planned it, but I'll take any break I can get. Okay, let's go. Alright, so we're going in sneaky beaky like. We can't afford to get caught, but before we go over here, is it I'm trying to break in here. So don't tell the guards you saw me, okay? The man gives you 50 zen. Yep. Okay. You wanna go outside? No. Hey. Who goes there? <laughs> oh, it's just Ray. Hey, if you beat that Nui, then I don't stand a chance against you, right? 
You're a pretty smart fellow. We're going in, okay? 50 Zenny. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I just realized Zenny, that's the same, like, type of money. That's the same type of money from Dragon Ball Z. So does this take place in the same universe as DBZ? Oh, uh, thanks. Our salary's not that great, you know? Go right ahead. I didn't see anything. Okay. So, over here and up here, but we can't get past that guy just yet because he lost his wallet. What's a wallet doing here? Found the wallet. Hey, that's my wallet. I've been looking for it everywhere. I really shouldn't do this, but seeing as you found my wallet, I'll let you through, okay? Alright, now... Obviously, like any stealth game, you have to avoid the spotlights. Okay. Go over here. Do, do, do. And up here. Ring the bell. Hey, quitting time. Alright. Uh, geez. What happens next? Oh, right, right. I remember. I don't know. I mean, if I let you through here, it'll look like I wasn't doing my job, right? I hate to ask you this, but do you think you can go over to the gate and get rid of that, rid of the dog that's there? See, that way, it'll look like the dog's fault, not mine, right? Please? <laughs> These are some lazy behind guards. Like, you'd be fired on the spot for acting like this. Don't they just beat off? They're all a bunch of goofos. Yep, and the dog's right down here. Yeah, this much I remember. And I remember getting into the manor, and after that, it's a complete blank. <laughs> it doesn't seem right picking on a little dog like this, Ray. Would you say the same thing? If he'd bitten your butt while you were <laughs> climbing over the wall, Tipo. <laughs> Rather this than another Nui. Let's do it. I mean, at least we won't. I don't think we're going to kill it. Right, let's see what you got. I'll save my magic. And... I can blind him. Couldn't steal anything. Everybody's got something. Ooh. Defense down. Ooh, I wonder if I can learn that. Okay. I want to learn that. I want to learn that because that might be useful. Vitamin, okay. One target lowers defense. Ooh, nice crit. Yeah. 
Ah. That one hit. Defense down, okay. Nice. There we go. Okay. See, this way the dog will get all the blame, not me. I'm off the hook, yeah? <sighs> I feel kind of bad for doing that, but at the same time, I kind of don't care. Okay. Uh. That's a. That's a spotlight guard. Wait, what's Mina doing over there? I better go make sure she's alright. When I get in trouble with him, I can't remember. Mina, would you like to spend time with me? I don't know. Mm. Do I get busted by him? Hi. Don't even think about trying to get into the front. Unlike me, all the guards there take their job seriously. Hi. Hello. I wonder what Mina's doing now. What? You say Mina's here? With another man? That's terrible! I can't believe it! I'm guessing he had a thing going on with this Mina person? Let's see what's going on. Yep. Oh boy. It's never a dull day without drama. Mina, will you go on a date with me next? Oh boy. I don't know. Alright, but I have to go inside there, I believe this is a chicken coop, and cause a lot of noise. A chicken coop. Since we can't get in the house because of all the guards, why don't we just steal some eggs and go home? Um, I don't think so. Aren't you setting your sights a little low there, Tipo? Uh. <laughs> Whoa, Ray. <laughs> yeah, that's a that is a big big chicken. Why do they have that big of a chicken? Maybe I should put them back, huh, Ray? I don't think that'll make him happy. Oh boy. I don't know what you have. I'll use flare and snap. It's probably going to be another healing item. I'm not going to complain because I don't I'll need them. Defense down, okay. Jump. Oh, goodness. Ooh, can I learn that? Let's see if I can learn that. Over. What? Miss, okay. I don't know. Can't learn this ability. Come on, use jump again. Eat the key. 
Yeah, I can learn it. Learn jump. I've become a dragoon now. Jump attack. Random damage. Hmm. Burn him. Ooh. Life shard. Ooh. Yeah, that didn't do a lot. I guess but he's not weak against fire. Let's try frost. further, but never mind. And now the chickens go crazy. Whoa, what's happening? <laughs> the chickens, they're escaping. Close the gates. Everyone after the chickens! Rocky's been acting up again. Boy, that worked better than we could have thought for. We should be able to sneak into the house real easy now. Yeah. Ooh. Not you. Up here? No, not here. Wait. Actually. Is there anything over here? I can't remember. Oh yeah, there is! Found a firecracker. Alright. Yep, I can get in over here now. If I can stop lagging for a second. There we go. There's still... Still some guards. Oh boy. Shh! I think someone's there. It's like, we got rid of most of the guards, but not all of them. What should we do, Ray? I'll go check it out. Five guards. How did they not see him? <laughs> They're all guarding the door. Should we give up? How, we're right there. How, how, how did they not hear us? We're right there. Right close by. Uh, no. Let's force our way in. Force? You mean fight the guards? No. I'll act as a decoy. And while they're after me, you two sneak in. I'll climb up to the roof and meet you there, okay? Huh? <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be okay. Ray's really good at running. Let's go, Ray's. Yeah, so we get into the manor and we're down a party member because Ray's doing something for us. Here goes nothing.
Oh, this music is so creepy. Okay. Yeah, we... We're down a party member. Dang it. Uh, Firecracker. All targets, yeah. Through here. Raise. Do you feel like we're being watched? Yeah. Doesn't look like there's any guards. I've got a pretty funny feeling. Yeah, of course it feels like we're being watched because we're in the hallway of paintings. I guess it's just my imagination. Yeah, because you know, you guys know how, like, in places with haunted mansions, if there's paintings around, you're always gonna feel like you're being watched because of the fact that just staring straight ahead. Uh, where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Nothing. Anything here? Vitamin. I need to, I need to save. Vault. Charge. I wonder if I can be able to learn that too, but I'll have to get that out later. Here we go. Hi. I don't know. Something about this house gives me the creeps. I can never sleep. If you want to use the bed, go ahead. Yeah. Rest up, get all my stats back. <sighs> Feel refreshed after your rest. You want to save? Yeah. Okay. This was as far as I got when I first played. This is as far as I got. I'm completely, in the, I'm in a blind area now. I'm in a blind spot now. I have no idea what's going to go down. But we'll figure it out in the next episode. So next time on Breath of Fire 3, we're going to go to the manor, get back the tax money, meet up with Ray, and try to get out of here before something bad happens. Whatever it's going to be. See you guys then.